OP. Name shall be Blue. You're my boy, Blue! Hello, friends, and welcome back to Red X, your source for the freshest daily cringe content anywhere on the internet. Promise, swearsies, it's just a fact, and it's totally science. Go ahead and look it up. <laughs> Today, we're jumping into r slash tales of neckbeards. Actually, it comes from our personal subreddit, r slash Red X Reads, but you probably knew that already, didn't you? Probably. <laughs> Today we've got the story of Stratbeard by user Satyr Kid. She reached out to me in the Discord. She's like, hey, I really hope this story gets read. I'm like, <laughs> nice, subtle. I actually considered doing it yesterday, but there were some formatting problems, and they went back and fixed up the formatting. So now I reward their hard work with a bit of hard work of my own. You know how it goes. I'm not 100% sure why they call him Stratbeard. Perhaps he has some neckbeard strategies that we haven't seen before, though I doubt it because most beards are cut from uh, mostly the same cloth. <laughs> I guess we will uncover the mysteries together. So let's get some plugs and disclaimers out of the way, and then we will dive right into some neckbeard cringe. Strat Beard 1, Clash of the Titans. Oh my god, that sounds epic. <laughs> Hello, gentle sirs and m-ladies. ladies <laughs> Not safe for work warning. Nothing bad, just uncomfortable, as I dance around most of it for you. I mean, most of these stories are uncomfortable, at least on some level. <laughs> This will be a long introductory post of a few stories about the aforementioned Stratbeard. I was inspired by watching Red X and Q Star videos for entire work shifts to distract myself from sitting there and doing next to nothing. Sounds like a sweet gig. <laughs> I am sad that Q Star gave up on the neckbeard stories. He's like, oh, these are all the same basically, and I'm like, but there's so much nuance to them. <laughs> I don't know how I can enjoy them as much as I do, and other people are like, meh. Not trying to throw shade on Q-Star or anything, but the beards made you. How could you abandon them? <laughs> this story is a doozy, and I am partially ashamed that I was even in the situation that I was in. A terrible tragedy indeed. For now, I have no contact with the poor, sad man. So what you get is what you get for the time being. Sorry. <laughs> It's actually kind of a joint story that may later be told from the perspective of my wonderful girlfriend. Oh, script flip! <laughs> Not safe for work warning. Again, you have been warned. I guess that's the third time now. <laughs> and let's get into our characters. Me, OP. Name shall be Blue. At the time of this story, a 19 to 20 year old female dumbass <laughs> who was at the time of average figure with skinnyish twig arms and trunks for legs. I am not smoosh because I have the resting bitch face. <laughs> the resting bitch face. <laughs> and I'm scary looking with my neutral face being a rather pissed off look. So thank you, ancestors. <laughs> I'm about average height, being five foot seven. I love drawing and anime. Plus, I'm a furry, bisexual, and polyamorous. Proud as well. Oh, see, that's why you're hanging out in the Discord. You heard we got all, all the good furry stuff <laughs> in the dark channel that I never go to in my Discord server. The Shadowlands. <laughs> uh, Apple is a little short 23-year-old Filipino girl who is sadly neckbeard smoosh. Being anime and My Little Pony obsessed, along with having an oversized triple D bust that lent some imbalance to her tiny stature. Usually wears trendy things and sweaters along with makeup. Kind of a doof and also a little naive at the time of this story. Curly black hair and dark eyes and tan skin. Then we got the art gallery folks, the best group of friends that anyone could count on. Main folk here are blacksmith, army wife, and coder. The name's pretty descriptive there, I guess. <laughs> and finally, our beard. Strat beard. A pretty overweight man who was 22 or 23 at the time and six foot something. He wears polos and BronyCon security shirts, considering he worked at BronyCon. 
He also wore jeans quite a lot and had thick brown curly hair along with his magnificent neck beard, of course. <laughs> he has a mediocre sense of cleanliness and a poor sense of social skills that for some reason he claimed to be godlike because he's a neck beard. <laughs> comes from a religious family and is far from holy. He likes strategy games and My Little Pony. And now, we can finally begin the tale. It was the spring of 2019. I had been going to this community college since 2018 after graduating high school. I had no friends at this point, and I was sure that I was destined to go through my two years with my mysterious vibe about me that tended to keep folk away. I was sitting in the cafeteria at the time, and I believe I approached a group of people who gathered at a table in order to at least try and make some new friends at this place. Well, you're not doing too good with the mysterious vibe if you're approaching people. <laughs> I don't quite remember how I was actually integrated into this group, but I spent a few of my free periods hanging out with them. They had invited me to play Uno one day after class, and I was glad to play. Again, Uno was not conducive to the mysterious vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Loving a bit of chaos and the broken minds that always tend to happen during that game. So, after class, I decided to hit up the table to play, but alas, what doth I see? A beautiful girl I had never seen before. <laughs> so I sat next to her to make small talk and try and get to know her better. Now at this time I was dating my ex-boyfriend, Army Boy, who had been in the army a few months at this point, so I wasn't really interested in going any further than flirting. I find out her name is Apple, and as we play Uno, I get to bond with the little lady, trying my damnedest to awkwardly flirt, but I end up being too nervous to actually do anything that wasn't as subtle as an ant on a black tile floor. Flirting while your significant other is away is really not an okay thing to do. And don't come at me with that, oh, it's just flirting. Flirting leads to stuff, okay? Months pass. Oh, time jump. By this point, I started working at the art gallery on the college campus, as did all my friends at the cafeteria as well. I had broken up with my ex by now. Good job. That's the responsible thing to do if you're going to flirt with somebody else. Make sure you're single first. <laughs> <laughs> And so now I had the opportunity to be dramatically in the I'll be alone forever state after the breakup. And I had also learned at this point that Apple was dating someone who the art gallery folks and I had never seen pictures of or even heard virtually anything about up until this point. So whatever, I lost any hope of trying to win her over, I guess. And I went back to idly being in the group of friends that we were in. Bro, you gonna let the invisible man beat you out? No, I'm, <laughs> I'm playing. It's good to respect the boundaries. <laughs> Apple had convinced me to get a telegram to chat with her when her boyfriend would often, no, more like every day, make her go to him after her classes were done. Eventually, I got other members of the group to get telegram too, and we initiated the friend group chat. Apple decided it would be a perfect opportunity to add this elusive boyfriend to the group chat and that was when i unofficially met the omnipotent presence that was Stratbeard. oh no she's dating the beard <laughs> i was wondering when he was gonna make his entrance kind of blindsided me at first he was pretty all right <laughs> he had a cute snake as a profile picture and presented himself well snake as a profile picture bro after listening to Serpent Beard, I don't trust it. I do feel that it's important to note that the art gallery folks can be a little much, but are just generally a fun, loving group of people. I'm gonna need you to expound on that. <laughs> what the hell? And Stratbeard proved that he was not fit for the chaos of our friend group in a text chat room, literally leaving the group after not even a day in it. So when he dropped the chat, Apple suggested to me that just the three of us should go and do a chat. I thought that was odd, but <laughs> whatever. Oh no, an OP called Apple Naive at the beginning. <laughs> and after talking, and a bit more talking, me and Strat had actually been pretty heavily flirting with each other, which apparently turned out to be fine with Apple. Oh, 
I hate this story. This is so uncomfortable. OP just out here flirting with anything that moves, like. <laughs> hey, I like your girlfriend. Hey, I'm gonna flirt with your boyfriend too. Hey, god damn, dude. Put a lid on it. <laughs> Holy, uh. I, I mean, I know there's not only one way to have a relationship, but this is uh, outside my frame of reference at the very least. <laughs> Apple was open to letting Strapbeard do whatever he wanted, whenever he wanted. I was fresh out of a very unsatisfying relationship and was gunning hard for any sort of action. So we made a plan. Meet up, goof off. That's it. <laughs> That's all that's gonna happen. <laughs> Everything's normal here, you guys. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, Apple, that poor little idiot. <laughs> I don't want to tell my boyfriend that he can't cheat on me in front of my face. <laughs> Grow a spine. But again, maybe she is like legitimately okay with it. I have no idea what to think. I hope the comments can help me out on this. But as OP says, it is never that simple. See? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Days pass and the meetup date is upon us. I went to our meetup spot, which was right outside of the nearby Hawaiian Ono fast food joint, dressed up in a button-up shirt with rolled up sleeves and shorts, I believe. Now, I had never actually seen this man. <laughs> and I suppose the mystery surrounding him made this all the more interesting. <laughs> oh god, I'll be... I'm trying so hard to go to bat for you, but I just can't. <laughs> oh, this was a big mistake on my part. Yeah, <laughs> I had no idea who I was looking for. I only had a car description from him, so I started to get this nervous wrench in my gut that maybe I should just cancel the meetup. Was this right? It seemed pretty sketchy and hush-hush, which felt really off. But eventually, I saw the car pull up, and as soon as I saw him, all I thought was, Oh no. <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? Prince Charming's going to roll up and be like, Oh, you and me will just bang right now, and then maybe me and my girlfriend will have a threesome with you later, and yeah, it's all super hush-hush, but she's totally cool with it, I swear. <laughs> uh, oh my god. At least OP acknowledged her dumbassery in the character description part because I am face palming so hard at this point. <laughs> uh, oh, clearly, he looked like the definition of some Reddit stories that I had read at the time. A neck beard. My heart dropped into my stomach, but it was too late. I at least owed him a meal for driving all the way up the canyon to see me. No, you don't. <laughs> Nobody owes anybody anything, okay? I don't want to be here. I ain't going to be here. It's that simple. Sorry, you're not what I expected. I'm going home. <laughs> but OP stuck around, and they went inside and formally introduced themselves before ordering and sitting down to eat. Then, during our convo, he spoke. Hey, you know what would be really scandalous? What? If we did a little bit of... Dirty stuff in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Please don't. It, it will be a little bit tricky, but still, uh, what do you think? Uh, sure. <laughs> oh, me? No, dude. What the actual flying fuck? Oh, man. This is bad. Whatever you think is easiest to do, although I'd rather not give the employees a hassle, my way of trying to say, fine, make it quick. <laughs> I hate this story. Every inch of it. It's cringy, but, but cringe I can handle. It's mostly the, the wanting to strangle the shit out of OP because she's being an idiot. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh. But here we are, so <laughs> let's continue, I suppose. Now, keep in mind that I was in the mindset of, whatever, let's just get this over with. <laughs> uh, 
I'm so at a loss for words. Like, if you're not even interested, why would you do it at all? I, I don't get it. I do not get it. So yeah, sure. If it meant that this encounter could be over quicker, I was all for it. <laughs> so, sneakily, I went into the bathroom first, and he followed a little while after to not raise any suspicion. We had a very one-sided bit of fun. I'd rather not get into the details of what. This time was honestly just too embarrassing to remember. <laughs> At least you are ashamed of it. This is horrible. Coerced into sex with your best friend's neckbeard boyfriend. She's not present for any of this. Like, what? I think I said what about a hundred times, but I, I still can't get a grasp on this one. Whew. Something I did notice is that he was very adamant on taking pictures of me doing stuff with him. Oh, Jesus. And you let that happen too? Like, <laughs> dude, I can't. Thought that he was a photographer, I guess. Heh <laughs> heh. These photos were creepy. Yeah, as bathroom sex photos often are. <laughs> kind of felt odd that he wanted photos so bad. And some had parts of my face, which made me uncomfortable. But thankfully, none had my tattoos, which were a more defining feature than my acne-ridden jawline. Another thing, I noticed he smelt like absolute shit under his jeans. <laughs> Sucking a beardy smegma dick. <laughs> Getting a nose full of shit. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I shouldn't have said it out loud. I apologize. <laughs> uh, it was as if he would just marinate his poopy underwears <laughs> for days or weeks on end in his own musk and sweat. Oh, that's how he picked up OP and Apple. He's got them, them beard pheromones. <laughs> Watch out for this guy. It was god awful and nearly burnt all of my senses dead. This coupled with it also being a hot as hell day. <laughs> it is sweaty too. Oh god. And now I'm in a compromising position in a locked bathroom and was more than vulnerable to this lumbering man in front of me, so I bared with it and got it over with. Ah, man, this is such a rough one to stomach. Half of me is like, OP put herself in this position, but the other half is like, I, I kind of get it. Women wanting to appease men that are bigger than them in order to not get hurt in some way. Ugh, but it sucks. All around, it sucks. That's what I'll say about it. We finished doing his creepy photo shoot in the bathroom, and I am plenty ready to take the walk of shame home right now. But he says, I should hang out with him a little bit longer. He thought this would be the perfect time to do some errands, <laughs> you know, while he's here. Mainly because he lied to his parents, saying that he was going to do some work for Uber so that he could come up here with me. And get his dick sucked in a bathroom. <laughs> I mean, maybe more than that happened, but that's what I'm imagining in my head. <laughs> so, uh, alright. Maybe I could grab a pretzel from Wetzel's Pretzels on the way home afterwards. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do when I just had a poor sexual experience to fill the hole in my heart. Wetzel's Pretzels. <laughs> Oh, you're killing me. <laughs> we went and bought some shit at Walmart for his dad, and he suggested having some actual fun before we parted. So I said, yeah, whatever, sure. <laughs> See, he was just getting blown before. Now it's the, the actual penetrative stuff. And for some reason, OP is just like, uh, okay. <laughs> I would have bailed in Walmart, just like while he's shopping for shit, slip away, out and exit, call an Uber, like, why are you still here? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was naively hoping that this would be better than what I had just went through. <laughs> we got in his car, and I led him to a secluded area near my place, and we had some, yet again, one-sided fun, 
Before he got nervous about a worker taking their smoke break a couple of feet from us, there was a dude in their truck, so I reluctantly agreed to move to a different spot. We went down the road, and he ended up getting his car stuck in a sand pit. <laughs> Perfect. I had to wait four hours with this man that wouldn't let me end this godforsaken day. In his car, too far to walk home in the heat, well, he called his mom and fibbed his way into getting his parents to call a tow service. <laughs> mommy, mommy, I was trying to bang this woman against her will and my car got stuck. <laughs> God damn, dude. This is some high quality cringe. The story really makes me angry, but also I'm enjoying the hell out of it on some level. <laughs> Then, finally, once he got out of the sand pit for $400, <laughs> we parted ways as he dropped me off at my house. Blissfully home, I was quick to shower and brush my teeth, but this was far from the end of my short but eventful time with this stinky and horny man. <laughs> Watch for part two soon enough. Hope that you nerds enjoyed. What a dumpster fire, dude. I don't know if I can say that I legitimately enjoyed it. <laughs> the cringe was there, but good God, OP. And then you end it with, like, the, the talking down. Hey, nerds. I hate when people do that, honestly. <laughs> I realize that most of my content is made specifically for nerds, but I would never call my friends nerds. I call them friends because they're supporting my dream and they're good people. But, you know, maybe, maybe we're trying to take the word back or something like that. I, I don't know. I don't buy too much. <laughs> this story obviously just pushed a lot of buttons for me, and I'm sure the comments will have some stuff to say about it, too. There's, like, so many points where OP could have bailed, but she's just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> and then the fact that all of this is happening behind Apple's back, which... She said she's okay with it. I thought she'd be included in the festivities, but she wasn't at all. So I'm pretty sure she has no idea what's actually going on right now. There is a part two up. I'm loath to get into it at this point, honestly. <laughs> but much like the Goblin Queen, I'm sure that uh, people will want to hear the second part and whatever other parts there are. Perhaps despite the fact that I relentlessly ripped on OP, or perhaps because <laughs> I relentlessly ripped on OP. Honestly, I have to give you some credit for, like, realizing in hindsight that your actions were really dumb and horrible, but it's such a pain to sit through. It's like, yeah, I had to wait with him for the tow truck for four hours because it was too hot to walk home, like... Bro, I'd rather die of heat stroke, honestly. <laughs> uh, God damn. What a mess. What a mess. But it did bring the cringe, so I guess that's the main purpose, isn't it? I hope you guys will let me know what you thought. I hope you like, comment, and or subscribe. If you did enjoy the video in some type of way, maybe share it around. Or, you know, <laughs> you probably ain't got to because it's, it's just a story about some neckbeard getting blown in the bathroom. And then banged in a Walmart parking lot after they go to Wetzel's Pretzels. <laughs> oh, it still kills me. What a series of events. You can't make shit like this up. <laughs> I believe it 100%, unfortunately. Oh, I hope that you also check out them links in the description. All kinds of plugs and social medias. We got that Discord, Twitter, Facebook. Oh, and my gorgeous, wonderful beautiful, generous patrons. I'd like to thank them all as I do every video. So thank you very much. Calvicus, Fatboy Shrimp, Robert Waits, TSM Kirby, Teddy the Police, USMC8932, Twisted Child, Delicious Jelly Donut, Candy Sora, Fire Drake, Libison, Mr. Anime Manga Fan, Silent Revolver, Zero MMX, Aaron W, Babsy Coon, Caustic Fox, Aaron Lennox, Fisher Diggy, High Pat Japan, OG James Cook, JM Coon, Jerry, John Hero, KK, Miss Monday, Little Lone Wolf, Vanilla Mel, Melgar the Destroyer, Mirthful Baker, Mr. J, my boy Nat One Nick, Lady Nix, Orgami Steve, Katie Kins Elizabeth, Sidestep, Redwin, Roustower, Cider Drinker, Serrated Ass, Siegfried, Steampunk Alley, Synaptic Boomstick, Brilliant Tamago, Tato Ferret, Ten Ton Monster, That Duck and Bug, Fusky, Treeberg, Will Mags, A Normal Joe, A Roxers, Cake Jerry, That's a Different Jerry, 
Goose says honk, John indoors, Kajow, KJW, Crafty Kitty Cat, Leon Embers, Mark211, maybe next time, Milk Fed Gimp, <laughs> Ms. Duchess, Naga Viper, or Gaming Cam, Princess Rosalie, Ghosty, The Last Shinobi, and the Maestro himself, Zuka said fun taste. Thank you guys all very much for supporting the channel in the way that you do. It means a whole heck of a lot to me. We're coming up on the end of the month, so I do hope that some other patrons will join up. But if you can't do it right now, don't sweat it too hard, friends. I mostly just appreciate you coming on through and hanging out with me. And I hope that you'll come on back and hang out with me again tomorrow. In order to do so, you need to keep yourself safe out there, wash your hands, but also take some time out and do something that you personally enjoy today. Like, uh, I don't know, watching some more Red X videos? Always remember, friends, that you are loved, you are worthy, and you definitely, definitely deserve it. I will see you in the next one, and until then, bye-bye.